Hi all, welcome back. In the previous videos, we discussed about the shared variables in Spark, which are uh, the accumulators and broadcast variable. This video is about the difference between the two shared variables. This is one of the frequently asked questions in the interviews. Let us try to understand the differences between the accumulator and the broadcast variable. Point number one. Both accumulators and broadcast variables are shared or common variables in Spark which is initialized in the driver program and shared among all the worker nodes. Point number two, write only variable workers can modify state but cannot read content. What does it mean? Accumulators is a shared variable in Spark, you know right? So this is used to write the data by all the worker nodes. We can say that accumulators is write only variable it is updated by all the worker nodes in the driver program. Whereas broadcast variables are read only variables. When you want the variable to be only read without any operation. That is these broadcast variable is used to read by all the worker nodes. Point number three. When can we use accumulators? So accumulators can be used to implement counters or sums that can be reliably used in parallel processing. Suppose take an example if you want to count anything or you want to update some variable by all the worker nodes. So these type of situations accumulators can be used. So it is mainly for counters and the sum. Whereas the broadcast variable the main purpose is to allow for an efficient sharing of potentially large data sets. So large sharing of large data set that means it is mainly used as a lookup without any shuffle as each executor will keep a local copy of it. So for example if you are having a fixed data so you want those data to be shared across the worker nodes then this type of situations um, we can create the broadcast variable which are shared by all the worker nodes. Okay. In order to understand better, you can refer to the previous videos on uh, the examples or the, the explanation about the accumulator variable and the broadcast variable. Point number four, how are accumulator created? Accumulators are created with the help of the accumulator method from the Spark context. Whereas broadcast variables are created with the help of the broadcast method from the Spark context. At the end, we will try to uh, summarize or put it in other words like Spark gives the executors the provision to uh, coordinate the values with each other with the help of accumulator variable. Whereas Spark provides the same data set across multiple stages without shuffling with the help of broadcast variable. So referring to the previous videos, hope you got an idea of about how to perform debugging while working on a cluster and what are the different kinds of shared variables, accumulators and broadcast variable and what are the main differences between the two. Have a clear understanding of this uh, shared variable concept. This is mainly asked in most of the interview. In the next video, we will try to understand the other important concepts in Spark. Thanks for watching this video. Have a nice day.